Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are three friends, Xavier, Yashpal and Zahi. They appeared in a test that had five sections. Okay, and uh, each section had a time limit of 30 minutes and the paper was of two and a half hours. Now, before the start of the test, each test taker chooses the order in which they want to attempt the five sections. So they can attempt in any order. And now some information is given about them that the order in which they attempted the test. Okay. And uh, it says that at any point in time during the test, all three persons were not attempting the same section. No person started INE after completing GK and so on. We are given certain conditions. Okay. So let us put X, Y, Z. We have five sections. So let us put five slots in the order in which they were attempting the sections. So these are the five sections that they will attempt in the paper. Now, uh, how to go about solving it? Let's read the statements. All three persons were not attempting the same section. Okay, the least important point. No person started I and E after completing GK. So that means I and E will come first and then GK will come. Okay. So, uh, I mean, we can have a gap of any number of subjects in between, but I and E should precede GK. Then we are given that Yashpal started LR exactly half an hour after Xavier started LR. Okay, so uh, we need to have, uh, we need to get when did uh, this person, Yashpal started LR exactly half an hour after Xavier started LR. So Xavier may, wherever you get LR, the next will be LR in case of Yashpal. So we have a relation like this, this or this or this. So four possibilities. So we'll just put it like this as of now and later on uh, we will fill that. The next statement says that Zaheer completed QA before he completed VA. Okay, so one information about Zaheer. Xavier started VA after the other two persons had completed GK. So both Y and Z should complete GK. Then only this person can start VA. Okay, so uh, until both of them have completed GK, he cannot start VA. Now this uh, brings a good clue to us. See, we are given that I and E should be the uh, should come before GK. It says that no person started I and E after completing GK. So I and E should be before GK. So if we consider these two cases, Xavier started VA and this. So minimum Xavier cannot start VA at the first go. So suppose they start GK, that is also not possible because uh, like it is given that I and E should be done before GK. So we cannot have Uh, VA here as well. Now minimum we can have VA here or here or here. Okay. Now there is one more statement which says that Zaheer started LR a half and after Xavier completed VA. So Xavier if we consider this case Xavier will complete VA here and half an hour gap and then Zaheer can start LR. But if we consider the other two cases, let us say Zahir, uh, Xavier completes VA at this point in time. So half an hour later will be this time. By this time the test would end. So we have only one possibility of Xavier doing VA that is in the third order. So this means this information we have put that Zahir started VA in the third slot. Now this gives us the thing that these two people attempted the first two sections as I and E and GK because then only he can start VA at the third slot. Okay. Now uh, this is done and this is also done. This we will keep in mind for Xavier as well. Then it says uh, Zahir completed QA before he completed VA. Okay. So QA is before VA. So QA then he will complete VA also. Yashpal started QA half an after 
after zaheer started va so zaheer started va here so yashpal will start qa in the last half an hour now there is one relation zavier and yashpal lr so that lr relation can come only in this phase so he started lr exactly half an hour after zavier started lr so lr lr now we have one subject left that is uh, i and e gk lr q v a is left so v a will come here and we have to fill for zavier also so zavier we are left with i and e gk and uh, q a now it says that all three persons were not attempting the same section so zavier cannot attempt i and e here so zavier must be attempting i and e in this time and gk must be in this slot and then left is qa so zavier started the paper with qa so this is the table of uh, the five sections that these three people attempt in the test for how many minutes were all three students attempting different sections for first 30 minutes two are same here also two are same this is all different three all three of them different sections again same sections all three of them different sections so the answer is 60 which section was zavier attempting when zaheer was attempting va so zaheer was attempting va zavier was attempting i and e how many sections did zavier attempt before any of the other two students so zavier attempted qa before any other student he attempted lr also before anyone else he attempted va also before anyone else and the other two sections these people attempted first okay so he attempted three sections before anyone else which of the following was not the last section any student attempted so gk qa lr okay gk qa lr va is not the last section that any one of them attempted after how many minutes from the start of the paper did yashpal finish the lr section okay so yashpal finishing the lr section that means we have to answer this time not this time okay because this is the time when he started it and this is when he finished it so it, it is the third section and he finished after 90 minutes from the start of the paper so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions